Namaste everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel Big Six of Stock Market. I am Pooja Sharma. In the previous video, we talked about what exactly is an index fund and how you can start investing in them. In the comment section, you all were asking how to actually start investing in the index fund. So in this video, we are going to check out all the details how to start investing in index funds. We'll go step by step. So if you have not watched the previous video, go watch it right now. You'll get the context of this video. And when you're back, then we can directly dive into this topic. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. To start with, let's do a quick revision of what we learned in the previous video. So the Indian stock market has two most important indices. One is Sensex and the other one is Nifty. A stock market index is a collection or a list of all the companies which are listed on the stock market of India. And it tells us about the performance of the entire stock market. Sensex is the index of Bombay Stock Exchange, BSE, and it has 30 companies in it. Nifty, on the other hand, is the index index of NSE that is National Stock Exchange and it has 50 companies and that's why it's often called as Nifty 50. In the previous video we talked about what index fund is. So now let's understand what index is. Let me explain this concept to you with the help of an easy example. So let's suppose we are going to the market to buy a bouquet of flowers and now we are confused which flowers to buy. Now the most difficult part or I would say the most important part of making a bouquet is the selection of the right flower. What if you select the wrong flower and you end up not liking the entire bouquet? So what will we do in this situation? We'll try to play smart, right? We'll select different different flowers and put them in the bouquet. So the risk of selecting the wrong flower is minimized to some extent and we'll have a variety of flowers in the bouquet. The index is quite similar to this bouquet. We buy multiple shares of different companies from various sectors and put them all in the bouquet and making a whole market portfolio that is the market index. So here the different flowers are the different shares of different companies and the bouquet is the index of the market. Like I said, Nifty 50 is the index of NSE, that is National Stock Exchange, and it has 50 shares in it from different sectors. Now these 50 shares, they are the shares of the best performing companies which are listed on NSE. So the shares of these companies are taken and an index is made out of them. Similarly, if I talk about Sensex, which is a group of 30 best performing companies on BSE, Likewise, an index is created named as Sensex out of the best 30 best performing companies listed on BSE. That was about the knowledge part of it. Now we'll see step by step how to start investing in an index fund. For this, we are going to take help from an app which is Grow App. It's an amazing app and you can start investing in mutual funds or index funds with like really simple steps. If you don't have an account on Grow App, don't worry. Click on the link given in the description of this video and then you will be redirected to the Grow app. Download it from there and then you can start investing. Firstly, you have to download the app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store. When it's downloaded, open the app and sign in using your email ID or your Google account. After that, enter your mobile number and verify using a one-time password. Once you're done, it asks for your PAN card details, so fill in that and then you will be ready to go. I already have an account on Grow app, so I'm just going to log in using my Gmail ID. After signing in, you enter the app and see the search bar on the top. Search index funds. Once you're done, click on UTI Nifty index fund. When it opens, you can clearly see the risk percentage, the return percentage and the graph of UTI and Nifty index fund for one year, three years, five years and so on. Under the graph, you can see the NAV, which is net asset value, which is currently rupees 71.74, the rating, which is currently three stars and also the fund size, which is currently rupees 2147 crores. Below this, there are a number of features which you can take a look at. Let's start with returns, where you can see the return percentage of the index fund over the years. Next, let's take a look at the SIP or one-time calculator. Here, you can see the minimum SIP amount, which is rupees 500, and also minimum one-time amount, which is rupees 5000. 
and according to that your returns per annum will vary now let's talk about some pros and cons the biggest advantage with index fund is that expense ratio is extremely low and in this case it's just 0.1% wow let's talk about peer comparison here you can compare the percentage of the returns that other index funds are giving alongside their rating now let's talk about holdings remember in the previous video related to index fund i told you that funds invest according to the weightage of the stocks in the nifty nifty 50 has in total 50 stocks like hdfc bank reliance industries infosys and others of the total money that you will invest in this nifty index fund an amount will get invested in the stocks of hdfc bank according to the weightage given to hdfc bank and here in this case it's 11.88 percent similarly the rest of the amount will get invested in different stocks according to the weightage given in nifty now let's talk about minimum investments we've already covered this here it's rupees 5000 which is minimum for first time investment and rupees 500 which is minimum amount for sip that is systematic investment plan and thereon you can continue 500 again which is minimum for second investment onwards now let's take a look at the expense ratio exit load and tax so we've already discussed that the biggest advantage is that low expense ratio so here it's clearly written that the expense ratio is 0.1 percent there is no exit load and some additional information related to taxation is also provided for your reference we can talk about taxation in detail in a different video and then there is other plans of the same fund here you can find that there is a regular plan growth option and then there is regular plan with dividend option and then there is direct dividend plan so you can choose these plans also if you want to then you can study something about the fund manager so there are three fund managers for this fund kaushik basu sharvan kumar kamal gada and you can also check out the profile of these fund managers and you can also look up on internet if you want to find more about them and last but not the least you can find more details about uti mutual fund here you can read uh, things like when was it started what what is its ranking and also the total assets and if you'd like to know more about this fund you can just click on see more and you will be redirected to uti mutual funds website after doing the whole study about the index fund now you can see towards the end there are two huge green boxes at the bottom one is one time and the other one is monthly sip which i personally prefer and that's what we are going to do in this video now by clicking on monthly sip you can write the amount which can be as low as 500 now you can select your mode of payment after clicking on pay now pay now you can also choose for upi you can also go for neft and you can also simply go for net banking which i usually prefer and after that you're done from there on your money will get auto deducted every month from your bank account you can also cancel it anytime without any hassle so that's all for this video i hope i was able to help you out and cleared your doubts with respect to how to start investing in an index fund although the video was quite comprehensive if you still have any doubts please shoot them in the comment section i would love to reply to you all if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button it really gives me energy to see all these likes coming in from you all subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed yet and click on the bell icon so that whenever i upload a video you get a notification in your mailbox I shall see you next time very soon with another mind-blowing video on basics of stock market. Until then, bye-bye, namaste.